Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU keen to revive passenger data bill after Brussels terrorist attack The new Cameron principle And independent Scotland at least three years outside the EU Italy gets mixed economic review from European Union Plus, EU Commission is forced to back off from austerity It's Friday the 13th of June I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. One. First top story from our homepage. The EU is keen to revive passenger data bill after Brussels terrorist attack. A bill designed to allow police access to EU airline passenger details would help prevent future attacks by suspected terrorists inside Europe, says the European Commission. Perhaps we should be looking at the root cause of the symptoms rather than tarring everyone with the same brush. I mean, Mr and Mrs Johnson from 17 Hatherley Close, Berkshire are hardly the perpetrators of an anti-Semitic terror attack, nor are they in the slightest bit interested. Where is the motive? Well, perhaps if Western powers stopped destabilising countries and inciting civil war as part of their mission to infect the world with democracy, there might be less motive to rock up into Brussels and start doing horrible things. Just as Jesus said, as you sow, so shall you reap. New Cameron Principle Now, am I missing something? But on 28th of May, David Cameron called Brussels too big, too bossy and too interfering great in its way, but it was just words. However, he also put forward a principle that the EU should work on the basis of nation states wherever possible and Europe only where necessary. If this meant seriously, it would be much more than rhetoric. But I am cynical indeed, very cynical about David Cameron. Now remember folks, our table talk next week on Thursday the 19th of June will be discussing this very question. Will David Cameron really give the people a referendum? It runs live from our website at 3pm, and that's 2pm GMT for those of you outside the UK. Independent Scotland, at least three years outside the EU. A report commissioned by some of the UK's most eminent business leaders warns Scotland faces a long and winding road back into the EU and casts major doubt on whether it would get the UK's opt-outs. An independent Scotland faces at least three years outside the European Union and it will be next to impossible to rejoin on the UK's current terms, a group of the country's most eminent business leaders warn today. Uh, the list of distinguished and unbiased organisations are Business for New Europe, which includes the Chairman of BAE Systems, Royal Bank of Scotland, BT Group, Scottish Power and the London Stock Exchange among its advisory board. Italy's mixed economic review from European Union. As the country celebrated Republic Day on Monday, the government received a mixed economic report from the European Commission, which agreed to postpone Italy balancing its budget until next year, while outlining several areas where the country must improve in order to spur growth and employment while keeping its commitments in Europe. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, this is like a dodgy rendition of Roll Out the Barrel. Monsieur Hollande appeals for an extension because France is skint, Italy's on a deferment, Spain is fragmenting under the weight of austerity, Greece, well, what can I say, it's a post-millennium Greek tragedy. And what are the kleptocrats doing? Well, Mario's back to the Heidelberg printing the funny money, the ECB has decided to sting depositors with a negative interest rate, the equities markets are rallying because they know the cheap money's coming and they want to absorb it. Folks, the story digs into the details, but the overview we're in the greatest depression ever seen, and fudging the facts to paper over the cracks won't last much longer. EU Commission is forced to back off from austerity. In response to the EU elections, the EU Commission has realised that austerity is going to create massive civil unrest and dissatisfaction with the federalisation of Europe. The EU Commission has terminated the sanctions against six EU countries due to excessive deficits. For example, Austria was forced to abandon the entire Maastricht criteria after hypo-bankruptcy. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit, Nightly News. I'll see you soon.